Right. Well, hey, Adam. we are right here um, live and direct. And um, what I'm going to share with you was uh, prophesized um, some time back. And, and I was told the prophecy uh, today is 2020, August 20th. And um, I was told this prophecy, I think, when I was about as far back as I can remember, maybe five or six, and they'd always talk about this prophecy, and it was called um, the, the red carpet of happiness is going to come back to this uh, these great lands of, uh, we now know them as uh, the Americas, but we, we call them in, in our indigenous world, the Turtle Island, the place that lives on forever. And um, Today, 2020, August 20th, there's a lot of um, hurt. There's a lot of pain. There's a lot of suffering. There's a lot of healing that needs to be done. There's a lot of sick and, and there's a lot of uh, dis-ease that's going on. Mother Earth is, is, is calling her children back. And so when we talk about this red carpet of happiness coming back from the North Pole to the South Pole, from the East Coast to the West Coast. We're talking about a movement that we call in the Red Earth Movement. And the Red Earth Movement consists of uh, genetic memory. There's genetic memory, and that, that memory comes in the, in, in, in the seeds that, that our ancestors planted. That, that memory comes in the, in, the, in, the, in the prayers that our ancestors said. And, then, and that it also comes from within all of us, all of our spirit, the way we acknowledge the earth, the way we acknowledge the water, the way we acknowledge the fire, the way we acknowledge this air we breathe. And then also all of the sacrifices that are made here in order for us to exist, the way we acknowledge the food. All of these things have genetic memory. And our ancestors, they had a relationship with all of these elements. The fire, the water, the air we breathe, this earth that we walk about, we call her Mother Earth. It's, it's, it's not just a word. It's not just a concept. It's everything. She's living, breathing, thinking, feeling. She knows she, her memories beyond what we can possibly comprehend. We say the mountain speaks. Wise men listen when the mountain speaks. So you, there's a, you, you, we go to that mountain. We give offerings to the mountain. We sit on that mountain. We fast on that mountain. And then we learn to feel again. We learn to feel again. We learn to see again. We learn to listen. We learn to think again. Cleans our, 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 our thoughts. We learn to feel the real feelings of joy all through a sacrifice. So this Red Earth movement involves understanding our existence on Earth, where it is that we stand. In the center of the Earth, we stand and we look and we know our directions. We get up in the morning, we face the east. We know where the sun rises. We follow the moon cycles. We know what seasons it is. We know our four directions. We pay homage to all of these things. Physically. Verbally. And then also in our actions. And in this present day, we're so disconnected. Human beings. Just human beings, the plants and the animals, the insects and fishes, all that beautiful creation that, that, that's here already can survive without us. They're, 
they're fine. They're good. They know who they are. A coyote knows how to be a coyote. A deer knows how to be a deer. A dragonfly knows how to be a dragonfly. We, us two legs, we forgot how to be human beings. So through this, through this red carpet of happiness, through this red earth movement, in, in order to, in the way of our ancestors, we lived here and existed for thousands and thousands, millions of years. Who knows how long? Who cares how long it's come up to this point? And here we are in this modern day, this modern day completely disconnected. Basically, right now we're in World War Three. Everyone, this whole world has stopped. And the most important messages that I've been hearing is go outside and go in nature and breathe outside and 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 the one thing that we need to do is learn to acknowledge mother earth and this air we breathe and the water and all and, and the sacred fire respect the fire respect these things the gods of creation talk to them we have in we have in in in, in native in native dialects a, a certain word to us human beings we say to you, oh thank you if I give you something you say thank you or if you give me something oh thank you you know but 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 to but to those sacred holy beings there's a spirit that lives in the water and the wind and the, and the earth and the and the fire there's a special word and you only say it to that spirit when you are approaching it and acknowledging it and talking to it like that. And then we have lots of lots of uh, seeds that we utilize to feed and to grow. Corn, squash, beans, watermelon, potatoes, tomatoes, all of these 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 wonderful foods and different colors and the vibrations that they get, they that that medicine. That's medicine. People all over the world are traveling everywhere looking for whatever something turning over rocks and with we're finding we're finding that beauty and that true love and that place of belonging right in your own front yard, right in your own backyard. You create that the spirit of the home, a place of belonging, a place to talk to our children. A place to, to be with our elders. A place of, of, of sanctuary. A place of tranquility and peace. Your own home. And so that's what we're sharing. That's what we want. That's, you know, we've, we as indigenous people, we have been completely up, 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 uprooted and displaced and, and, and robbed and stolen from and, and lied to and, you know, it's just it, it, there's a lot of un 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 um. I guess you could just call it just completely unjust things that have happened, and there's a lot of generational trauma that's 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 that still exists. It still exists. We're healing, and we're healing through. We're, we we we've been we've been disconnected from our from our food sources. Long time ago, we had a, we had we were strong. We were healthy. We didn't even need to go to the gym. We didn't need to like uh, you know do a lot of these things we do today. It was just natural in every in our everyday life. Got sick? Well, you go see the medicine man. He'd sing you a song, and he'd, he'd fix you with a with, with a song. You go see the medicine woman. She would fix you up with the, with with some holy herbs that she knew. So now we're we're in this modern day time. We're we're we're, we're going back as a human. We're now now everyone's native to Mother Earth. So now we're all returning back to Mother Earth. As this red carpet of happiness lays out across the land again, and it's going to be indigenous-led. It's going to be the native people, our ancestors. We understand, and we never lost touch with the 
and we're still here. And we're carrying the knowledge, we're carrying the fire, we're carrying the water upon this earth right here. We're praying in our to the ancestors that, that blow in the wind. And we're good. We, we, we have a, a way that we're laying out here. And what it requires in this modern day is participation. What it requires in this modern day is like the, 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 the almighty dollar that we think is the almighty is really not the almighty. The most valuable thing on this earth is you. The beings that we share this earth with. We need to learn. We need to unlearn and relearn the ways of living here on this earth. That's what we're bringing to our youth. That's what we, 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 we have. We have schools. We have um, places where we uh, live and learn how to live also with each other. There's a way, there's a way, there's, there's a way to make peace. There's a way to live in a good way, in harmony, in the beauty way upon this earth. So in this, in this time, our world's full of fear. Our world's full of fear. And, and and we we always were um, fear killers, fear removers, and we but but awareness and, and, and being cautious of our of our of our thoughts, being conscious of our of our deeds that we do, of our actions that we take, the way we walk upon the earth, being being gentle with Mother Earth and everything the way she's created and respecting it respecting it being able to have a place an offering to, that's made for everything that we take from the earth in a good way mean it mean it these are the ways that we're following these are the ways that the ancestors before us for millions of years did it and we continue to this good day and we're going to continue and we're going to teach our children. Now we even, this modern day technology to, 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 to travel us, to, to bring us to our, our, some of our sacred places, whether it's healing waters or, or, or a sacred mountain. In the old days, you would walk there. And that was part of the journey. So it's time to start on that journey. And it's time to start to pray and envision and include all in this vision of the world that we're facing in the future and passing to our children's 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 children, 13 generations into the future this culture of buy and sell mother earth and make trash is coming to an end and our children already envision this world that's coming beautiful world they're innocent they don't know but now we know and now we have a way so this is the time to bring our minds together, bring our hearts together, and bring our hands together. Adam, wow. Um, I'm absolutely moved and very, very inspired by your energy that you bring, uh, but also the communication that you have for everyone to hear. Um, so. You said that with the red carpet of happiness that uh, we are experiencing today and that the most important thing is our participation. So my, 
with that said, is it, is there a timeline? How can we, first of all, how can we participate if anyone is listening and what's the first step someone can take who is kind of new to what you've just spoken about? Uh, and then also, is there a way to accelerate the uh, movement that you're doing right now? So right now, there's all kinds of personal ways you can do in your own home. But what, what, we, what we are doing right now is we're going on to as big as properties as we can and unifying with big landowners wow. and helping them. Um, in, we're, I guess you could call it indigenize their land so, so that they can, they can um, create and they can grow food and they can grow animals in a way that's not harmful to the way to the contour the way the land is already and then we have if we have a couple of websites one of them is called uh red earth ovens dot com and on there there's a diagram of a, a it's just a circle this diagram so you can just get an idea of a lot of there's not that, that many places that are uh, in circles these days every place is it's like checkerboarded so most properties are squares but um, you can set it up in whatever shape you want rectangle or triangle but in the center of it is the place of belonging the gathering area and and then on the on the outside of that they say well where do you start your 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 food growing and as far as you can throw a seed from your your kitchen table say so you get a around your gathering area you got a garden or a bigger uh, a, a nice production area to where you can produce lots of food for lots of people if needs to be and we got also aquaponics area water area whether it be um fish ponds or whether it be a, a, a water storage area or purifying are all together as one and then that on the outside of that is the tree area where you grow certain things that are that are applicable to whatever climate people live in and then on the outside of that so around here we are in um, southern california so we have quail we have a uh, wild turkey we have um, pheasant and then, and then just in those right there, those are very, they, they all produce eggs and they all produce, you know, very, very good um, things that you can use, like them scratching up your soil when you're done. And, and you, 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 you create the symbiotic relationship within your own area there. And then you all, we also have um, an area on the outside of that where we have our, our wild game. Creator blessed us with lots of wild game deer buffalo elk antelope all out there on the on, the, on another on another boundary line and so uh, in, in that sense uh we, we become you know um self-sustainable pretty much for the most part completely and um and then we also have um a plenty to share out as well whether it be for trade, whether it be for sale, whether it be for, you know, display or, or and, and we're also helping that all that wildlife, you know, come back from the devastation that's happened. So, um, and, and, and these, these wild um, and, and, and original seed stock and, and, and original um, wild, wild game stock is a, uh, very very nourishing it's a, it, and you don't have to use antibiotics and hormones and all these things to to keep them healthy you just um give them what they originally um eat and need as well just like we just like exactly what we need as well as human beings so um we're working on that and and, and we're inviting people in to get involved as, as well in this movement um you can go to it's called livingearthgarden.com as well. And there's a lot of information and, and ways to uh, get involved on there on both sides. And um, I think um, by sharing, 
maybe there's people with land, maybe there's people with equipment, maybe there's people with financial support, maybe there's just people that are willing and able. It's a huge movement. I think it needs to go and the awareness needs to be awakened all across the globe. All across the globe. And everything we do, we have to think and make sure that it's not harming the mountain, the valley. That it's not harming the water, the air. It's not harming the earth like that. The air we breathe. So like that, that that's the way I'm, uh, we're, we're trying to involve people in and 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 get people involved bringing the consciousness together if that answers does that, does that kind of answer very much so thank you very i know it's a, it's big there's a lot involved yes there's it sounds like it involved. so so usually what we do internships and it's a four-year internship wow four four-year internship yeah and um, and some of these youth that, that that we're talking with here, you know, we, a lot, there's a lot of people, you know, a lot of there's a lot of them that are having a hard time in this life, you know, and been steered wrong for many years, and and so you know, in order to really understand our our, our place, if we're that far off, it takes a little bit of time. It takes a little bit of uh, of. I guess you could say consistency, you know, there's a mastery to it. There's a, there's a, it, there's a little, you have to learn some interdependence along with interdependence. You have to learn how to work with others. So and that's then, an interesting observation. And what's struck me is this um, connection back to, to Gaia, to mother earth and, and that understanding or at least the the idea or notion of actually being connected to all of it as on a human level and on a spirit level and with that there's the ancestral trauma and so there's indigenous ancestral trauma which i can't pretend to understand or fully comprehend nor do i there's the the trauma that's been enacted on the African American uh, community whose great grandparents or great 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 grandparents had come over, and the trauma that was enacted on the women, you know, generations ago is still prevalent in the DNA that exists today. Uh, the same is true in Auschwitz Birkenau, um, and that they're all individual experiences. I'm not trying to compare any of them, but there's you and Red Earth Movement leading the charge here, but it would be easy for someone to listen to this and say, well, I'm not indigenous, I'm not, um, I don't know how I can participate. But I think there's an invitation to your point around personal responsibility and self-governance. And Turtle Island seems like a great place start for an individual who feels a little bit lost or unsure or knows that there's something out there and they're looking for some sort of a connection really get their hands into the earth and and understand their place in all of it okay so so um, you made a great point in in that in that statement because um at this point it's not really um, um it's it's definitely about honoring the the, the past it's definitely about honoring the past it, and and it's definitely about honoring our present and it's definitely about honoring each other in the future and recognizing that the where we've been uh, um, has created nothing but but basically devastating just horrific things that we don't want to go back to so going forward uh, you know, what, what, what we're looking at here is we're, we're, we're rolling this red carpet of happiness out, uh, fulfilling this red carpet of happiness the way we want it, consciously doing it, consciously doing it in, 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 in a good way and for, for everybody because now, now we're all in it together. It's all mixed up. We're all eating each other's food. We're all breathing each other's air, drinking each other's water. 
we're all watching each other's TV and we're, we're all, we're all in it together now. We can't just go hide back in our little box in our little house and, you know, wherever we want to go and think it's, you know, we're hiding and it's not going to affect us. Well, they'll take care of it. Well, you know, now they is all of us here. So we're, 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 we're at that point. We've been at that point for a while, but now we're at that point. And, and, and it's a wonderful thing. It's a good thing. We have to learn to love to learn and, and then also learn to, 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 to choose wisely, learn to choose wisely and, and, and not out of greed and not out of, out of these things or, or, or egoism or trying to com compete over somebody else or anything like these. No, we're, we're, we're a, things are changing things are changing so that's that's what that's where we're with us so we stand and definitely we're trying to help our youth definitely we're trying to 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 give them a a, a place and of of um, security in, inside of themselves a place of you know something that they can fall back on so knowing how to feed yourself, knowing how to take care of yourself, knowing how to choose wisely for yourself in this modern day is what we're trying to share with our youth in this upcoming, um, one of our workshops we do is called We Are Sacred. And, and, and we, we, we have to, re, we, we say that together, all of us together, you know, we are sacred, we are sacred, you know, and, um, and, and, and just exactly what does that mean? Well, we are sacred, that means that, you know, only you know what you feel. That's sacred. Doctor can't tell you that. You have to learn how to feel and understand what you're feeling. Only you know what you're thinking. Doctor can't tell you that either. Psychiatrists can't. They can fish all around. But only you know what you're thinking. Right. And then that's sacred. And on and on. Even down to your actions. Our, our half hour. I know you have a lot going on. Um, Christina, do you have a, a, a one last question for for us? Well, um, I don't know if this is a simple question to answer, but, um, you know, uh, I don't have any indigenous background whatsoever. Um, so you could argue that my, your, my European heritage has caused this problem. Um, and I probably carry that over into this lifetime. Is there a way for that to be atoned? I think so. I think to acknowledge it and choose for it, choose. That's what I'm saying. We, things are now we have it's it's in our hand. How are we going to go forward? We have a word where we have you know we ask for forgiveness. Talk to God. Forgive yourself. Choose forward now. We that's have really these. Beautiful. Yeah. We we have these fireplaces. It's a, it's it's an open door. We have ceremonies, and we 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 let we let all um you know denominations come in, nationalities come in, and 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 we say all my relations, and um we can forgive ourselves and 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 move forward, especially when we mean it, and only when we mean it. And I believe in that. I believe in that, and 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 we can feel it. We can feel it, but then we can also feel it when it's not. So I believe there is a way. I believe I believe that is the way. I believe it's the only way. Because we've tried all these other ways. So. Yeah, that's really comforting. Yeah, it's like we got to have something, you know, to be peaceful and tranquil. Mm hmm. Yeah, and, and, and prayer is where we find it. Adam, thanks for making time. Best yeah. to Yeah, I'll, I'll let you guys go. Um, yes. We'll talk soon, Chris. I would like to talk a little more, but um, I'm going to go back over here and um, I'm going to do our, our, our closing prayer tonight. And um, blessings to all, and um, we'll talk soon. Thank yeah. you. It was an absolute pleasure to meet you virtually. Yeah, likewise. Um, I'm, I'm grateful for his friendship, for sure. The, <laughs> the story on, on how I met him was through a mutual friend 
a couple of years ago. And one night I had had uh, a dream where I was uh, in a bus and it felt like a bus, like a Greyhound bus or like a tour bus or something. And um, I was going slowly along the highway, like this pace. And on the side of the highway, I saw um, a, a Native American man with his arms crossed, uh, very resolute looking um, in what I imagine was ceremonial garb. And behind him was this mountain and the sky was almost purple. Um, you know, you seem like the purple desert sky kind of. Yeah, right. And I was like, it was just um, so slowed down that I couldn't shake it. And uh, I mentioned this to a friend of mine um, the next day. And he's like, huh. He's like, I wonder if it's this guy. He's like, I'm going to take you down to San Diego and meet him. <laughs> And then from there, oh, that was pretty, that was a pretty direct line right there. <laughs> Aiming into those things, right? You know, a lot of things like this have been happening in my life. And it's very interesting that we have him on right now in my life. So, you know, I'm on TikTok. <laughs> and the first people that I started to follow on TikTok we're indigenous groups so indigenous people that are, uh, you know, they've got the regalia on and, you know, they, they are pretty bummed that they can't go to the powwows. They can't go to the gatherings at this time of the pandemic. And it's just beautiful. All the songs that they share and the prayers and the, the mindset, the, the patterns and everything. And, and, you know, I had, I never had an interest in that before until recently and then now here he is speaking here with us today. And it's just, you know, there's a big picture message in there for me. And I feel like for a lot of people, just like you said. Yeah. Well, it's, it's funny that you mentioned that. And it was, it, it was one of the reasons why I love doing this work with you is like, you couldn't have put the ball on the tee any better than what you just did. Uh, <laughs> Good. <laughs> And I know it was unintentional, but it makes it even better. So Hold them on, I, let's go. <laughs> well, I'd want to invite you. you know, the, the Native American church has um, postponed any gatherings until at least November because of what's going on. In the world. Oh. Um, with that, uh, we've secured some land in um, Eden, Arizona. And it's where Geronimo's Hot Springs exist. And this is where, from an ancestral perspective, they would go heal. Um, and we know that everything's changed, you know, and the status quo is not working for many people. And with COVID, with George Floyd, with failing democracies, with fires, with floods, we have an opportunity to really wake up to our purpose and our true responsibility. Thank you uh, so much for everything today and thank you for being there for me and um also for a lot of people you know i love you very much love you too